So, um... I'm a screen printer, animator, drawer. I like seductive imagery. You know, I, I like juicy colors and uh, rich values. It's attractive, you know, it's accessible. I don't think anyone can look at my work and you know, laugh or be disgusted or, you know, and just enjoy it or not enjoy it. But everyone can um, understand it for what it is. From where I'm from is the Southwest. I'm originally from Tucson. And there's a lot of these, like, kind of weird ghost towns and you find 200 year old uh, belt buckles and yeah, that's what really got me into collecting was just trying to discover what was surrounding me. You, you find like a, like a Protestant newsletter, letterpress piece from you know, 300 years ago right. and you say okay so you know there, there was a there's kind of there was something going on here with these people you know, 300 years ago they, they existed. I just will go through the things that I'm collecting and then I'll pull five or six things out and just s start making a composition based off the things that are in front of me. And I consider it art. To me, it's like a Vani Toss or something like that. It, 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 it's a collection of things that are revealing about who I am through what I collect. I think if you look at my stuff, I'm not really doing anything too extravagant, you know, because I have a pretty tight schedule, and I think it comes out in the work, you know, there's something kind of a little cold about it. I'm not really an artist who's like sitting there for, you know, I'm going to sit here for a week and drink my coffee and, you know, think about the world and draw, you know, draw like a beautiful figure. I'm like, like a, more like a, I don't know, like a worker who clocks in, tries to get X amount of things done, and you know, six hours and then goes home and passes out.